I first met her on the set of National Velvet. We were both quite young, but even then, I knew that we were dealing with someone very special, and time has proven me right. But special was perhaps an underestimation for what she turned out to be is unique. Starting with the eyes. Have there ever been eyes like that? I mean, they really are violet. And if the eyes are the mirror of the soul, then that is where we should look to appreciate the essence of this woman. Those eyes have shed tears for the loss of life from AIDS, of both those achingly close to her and total strangers caught in the throes of this devastating illness. And those eyes have also registered hope and determination to inspire others to mobilize for medical research and patient care. Elizabeth was one of the very first to take up the cause when it wasn't politically correct. And she has never wavered in her vision of a world free from this horrible scourge through her dedicated work from, for AMFAR and for the Elizabeth Taylor Foundation for Patient Care. She is more than a symbol she is a leader, an activist, and a shining example of the use of celebrity for the celebration of life. Many years have passed since we first shared a screen, and I am most honored to share a stage with her tonight, if only for the chance to look again into those remarkable eyes and say, the Academy proudly presents the Jean Herschelt Humanitarian Award for Service that has brought credit to our industry to Elizabeth Taylor. Thank you so much. I have been on this stage many times as a presenter. I have sat in the audience as a loser. <laughs> and I've had the thrill and the honor of standing here as a winner. But I never, ever thought I would come out here to receive this award. It is the highest possible accolade I could receive from my peers. And for doing something I just have to do, that my passion must do. I am filled with pride and humility. I accept this award in honor of all the men, women, and children with AIDS who are waging incredibly valiant battles for their lives, those to whom I have given my commitment, the real heroes of the pandemic of AIDS. I am so proud of the work that people in Hollywood have done to help so many others, like dearest, gentle Audrey. And while she is, I know, in heaven, forever guarding her beloved children, I will remain here as rowdy an activist as I have to be and God willing for as long as I have to be. Tonight, tonight, I am asking for your help. I call upon you to draw from the depths of your being to prove that we are a human race, to prove that our love outweighs our need to hate that our compassion is more compelling than our need to blame, that our sensitivity to those in need is stronger than our greed, that our ability to reason overcomes our fear. 
and that at the end of each of our lives, we can look back and be proud that we have treated others with the kindness, dignity, and respect that every human being deserves. Thank you, and God bless.